right, so where's time to get a notification? What's up, YouTube? Tamer AG here, and we are back with some more Showdown Leagues. This is for PWEL Week 1. Um, this was recorded a week, or not recorded, this was played a week ago, so I'm doing the replay. I did not record live because I was in the middle of class when we were doing the battle, and yeah. And I'm not going to sit here and complain that that affected the way I battled, but, but I will say one thing. I prepped this, like, roughly hour before the match so i was kind of like i was like okay so i'm gonna bring this because this thing handles that this thing handles this this thing handles that so i predicted the sylveon to come i predicted tapu bulu garchomp corbis and jirachi i wasn't sure on the final mon um garboder i was like it's probably a good chance it'll come but i don't think it's like i don't think it really has much to do in my opinion, uh, it has a, st a st toxic spikes, but it doesn't have much to do against my team. At least that's what my thought process was uh, going into the match. Um, so the sets I brought was, I believe, Scarf, Blue Cephalon. I don't remember if it was Sash. I think it was Stealth Rocks, Life Orb, uh, Mamoswine. It was uh, Figgy Berry, Recycle, Figgy Berry, Recycle, uh, Gluttony, Snorlax. We had the Disguise Totem Mimikyu, which changed into regular Mimikyu when I uh, went to go build, which I was stupid and didn't put Totem, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and then we have the Chestnut, who, if I'm correct, is a Spikes Leech Seed uh, offensive offensive set, kind of, sort of. It's a little more defensive than you would probably think. Um, and then Rotom Wash. Now, one thing I will say... Before I get into the match, my team prep was not the best. It was a bulky Rotom Wash with specs with... Actually, no, it wasn't bulky. It was offense with specs. I don't remember fully the set, but I'm going to be 100% honest. I could have played this a lot better, and honestly, uh, say Sac CR Square? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm going to be 100% honest. still can't. I'm just going to call you by your uh, showdown name, Nick. Um... I'm sorry you had to play me week one. Uh, week ones, I usually play horribly, which is fine usually because, you know, it's just week one. You could always come back and bounce back. But I pl I feel bad for you, dude. And especially me after the match. I'm apologizing now because I didn't apologize over Discord. Uh, I was being really thick-headed about, you know, I could have won if I hadn't been. You, you guys will see in a little bit. Uh, something, so A little bit of hacks happens, and I was really complaining about that because I was super salty, I'm going to be 100% honest, because I thought... I had a pretty good shot, and then everything went to hell. And was, yeah, well, let's just get into the video. So let's go ahead and play with music off. Uh, he leads Jirachi, which is why uh, I lead Tanky Boy. Now, originally, my thought process was he's going to lead Garchomp. He doesn't end up leading Garchomp. He ends up leading this, and I believe I switch, which probably would have been the good play because if this thing, if this thing Zen headbutts me, then my Tanky Boy is going to take some damage. He ends up hitting Powering. I don't know why I say oh Leech Seed. Okay, so I stayed in because I know I have spiky shield, correct? Uh, I think I ended up protecting your shield, spiky shield here, which is a horrible, it's just my opinion was a bad play. I should have brought poison jab on this thing, which I didn't. Um, but this was my counter to Tapu Bulu. Uh, I didn't think he'd bring the subset, which really puts in work in this matchup. Uh, the reason why Snorlax is my counter to Tapu Bulu is because I knew I lived any one hit. I knew if he super powered, it wouldn't kill, so then he'd lower his attack and defense. And Gunk Shot misses, not breaking the sub which kind of really made me mad in that moment. And I was like, Grr, I have to recycle. So I believe I, oh no, I gunk shot it. Because in my head, I was thinking, I can take two hits. I can break the gunk shot. And maybe if he goes for a move that doesn't do damage, I can kill. And so I went for that. And then on the Jirachi, I'm like, he's not staying in. There's no way. So I'm just going to go ahead and click recycle. I end up getting the recycle. He switches into Garboder, setting up Toxic Spikes, which I end up just body slamming, doing 40%, doing a good chunk. Um... But it wasn't good enough, so I just switched into Dex, the Rotom Wash, and just get, I believe, a Defog off and then switch, correct? See, okay, so pause real quick, pause real quick, pause real quick. I was going to make this play right then and there. When I saw that the the Garboder was out, I'm like, I know he has Black Sludge, but I don't think this thing stays in if I'm Specs. There's no way a Garboder will stay in if I'm Specs, and if I have anything that can do damage to it, I'm pretty sure a Hydro Pump would have killed at that range. So I'm like, there's no way he stays in. I can go for Trick here. But there was a little part of my brain saying, 
go with the safer play, go for defog, get rid of these toxic spikes so you can get more switch-ins late game, and, you know, just don't, don't over, don't, don't try to make the god play. <laughs> In my opinion, that would have been a great play, but it would have also been a horrible play, because the spec Sylveon is not something to laugh about. Um, but I was like, I know if I do this, I can lock him into anything I want. I, I really wanted to do that, I'm gonna be honest. Part of me cried inside when I saw the Sylveon come out, because I'm like, I could have predicted it. And what would would have been great is having that go off, and then switching into Mimikyu, or doing that, and then getting a defog off, and then switching into Mimikyu to eat up any one hit. Um, but yeah, one team, or one set that, one team that probably would have helped me a lot is Trick Room, Curse, Lax. That probably could have been in way more work than my whole team. And again, I didn't do the prep very well, so it is completely on me. I 100% take fault in this match. In this match, um, so yeah, any hacks that happens, I deserve it because I'm stupid. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and keep playing. All right, let's keep watching. Um, so I ended up getting rid of the toxic spikes. I go into the tanky boy because I predicted him going for a shadow ball, maybe. Uh, so I went ahead and went tanky boy because he was bulletproof, I believe, if I'm correct. And then I end up going spiky shield, and if I think I think I thought right, yeah. So then I end up getting my own spikes up because it'll do damage to both the Garboder and Jirachi coming in, and then he switches into Bulu, which will weaken ground type moves. I believe I end up just leech seeding, which he is immune to. It probably would have helped getting the little bit of HP, but whatever. I end up getting leech seed and or not leech seed. Um, I think it was just leftovers. Oh no, I don't have leftovers on this thing. I just get grassy terrain recovery. So I end up going for a protect. Uh, he ends up going for bulk up, which, oh my god, I'm, I was so irritated when I saw that. I'm like, there's no way this man, this man making some god tier plays. Like, not gonna lie, some of these plays were pretty clean. But my plays weren't clean enough to compete. <laughs> so I ended up just volt switching on this thing, just do damage to the sub and try to break it when uh, Munchies comes in, because Munchies can take any one hit. Horn Leech, like I said, I can take any one hit, except for a superpower. But I end up, I pop a berry, and at this point, I'm like... I have faith in Munchies to eat up one, so I didn't switch, and he ends up going for a Horn Leech to get HP back. Makes sense. I probably would have went for the Super Power Play just to get rid of this thing, because this thing is kind of a threat to Tapu Bulu, and I believe I ended up just switching on a, a Chestnut to hope and pray I can get another Recycle off at some point. So I ended up going Chestnut, Tanky Boy, and the not being able to keep the spikes off the board was probably another big issue for me. Um... I mainly just kept it because nothing really cares about the poison that much, and um, I mainly just wanted to keep my spikes on his side because it can do work, and him setting up this bulk up was kind of scary, not gonna lie. Uh, he ends up going Horn Leech and killing Tanky Boy. I'm sorry, Tanky Boy. Uh, th these aren't their actual names. These are just names I came up with at the moment, and I completely forgot their actual names, which are on the dock, which you guys could have seen. Um, I ended up just being stupid and sacking Snorlax here, and this is where I'm like, alright, it's game over. I can't win this. Um, the only chance I have is with Mimikyu, Doodle 2, which is Totem here. I don't know why I wasn't Totem earlier. Uh, I end up play roughing to try to break this sub, which I'm not able to, so he horn leashes, and we lose our disguise. And then I believe I'm just like, screw it. I wanted to use it. It's going to die anyway, so might as well. And we use Let's Snuggle Forever, which is a Z move I had on it because I wanted to try it out. And he instant goes for the sub. I cried inside once I saw that because I'm like, all right, that's, that, that's a wrap, boys. That's a wrap. And then I miss the play rough. Just to add salt to the injury, I miss the play rough at the end, which really just got me triggered because I'm like... Could have done some chip to that sub, and then I go into Eskimo here, and Eskimo ends up just Icicle Spear. Boom. Boom. Sub broken, and one hit off on top of Bulu. And seeing this happen, I'm like, oh my god. If that would have landed, I could have potentially broken the sub with the first hit and gotten two extra hits off. And then ya boy Clowning would come out, which that isn't his name again. It's like JKR or something like that. I think it's Joker. I end up flamethrowering, which does only 38%, but then I end up switching to Rotom Wash next because Rotom Wash can be pretty, pretty bulky. I end up taking the Outrage, and then I'm like, all right, Rotom Wash, I'm sorry, buddy, you're dead. Uh, my last Pokemon is Blacephalon at this point. I'm like, it's a wrap unless I can sweep with Shadow Ball, and that's what I end up going for. I end up, He ends up switching into Sylveon. I end up going straight for a Shadow Ball. I'm like, my only chance is to get a really good sweep with this uh, Clowning 
Shadow Ball. He's Scarfed. He outspeeds everything on his board. S maybe we can still win this. And then he gets a Baton Pass. He switches out. He's just trying to stall out to kill me with Poison. I end up staying. I mean, I can't switch into anything. So I end up Shadow Balling, killing the Garchomp, getting the plus one special attack boost. And at this point, I'm like, I might be able to pull this off might but then i realized my hp is too low so the toxic's gonna kill me either way and he puts gg i put gg earlier in the game i end up killing gorbis i get another sh uh, boost but it doesn't matter because 12 percent i die in four four turns which would mean i'd have to oko every single pokemon and i'm like if i can oko this maybe i have a shot miss just by six percent uh, and i get special defense drop i believe that was a roll as well i don't know for sure um i'm, I'm gonna assume that it wasn't a roll but a part of me was like i think it's a roll i just got really irritated at the end of the battle because i'm like if i would have hit that would have been another turn of toxic dropping me to what 36 30 38 and then i would have killed definitely i would have killed jirachi because jirachi it takes a lot of damage from that so then that would have dropped me to uh third 24 28 20 26 and then i would have killed garboder and then after that i would have killed sylveon and i would have died to toxic after the sylveon was already dead but then i'd be deemed the victory because sylveon died before my blocephalon or if sylveon would have came in i could have killed the only thing i was if beyond killing was both bulu and the garboder but yeah i could have played this matchup a lot more better not gonna lie it's definitely all on me um not the misses i kind of deserve them for not properly prepping or anything uh, also for not making the good plays. I should, this is what I always say in every draft league. I need to follow my gut because every single time I don't follow it, I end up choking the match away. And ah, man, yeah, I was also thinking, cause I believe this one was timid. I was thinking about running modest, which, ah, God, that would, oh, that would put in some work guys. I, oh man. Thinking about it just makes me want to cry, <laughs> but yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like, comment down below. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, more of these will be coming weekly if you guys want to see those. Uh, I will also be in joining another league called The Crash, which I will be showing off soon after I get the draft uh, settled because I week one has passed and I am currently replacing another player because I believe they have IRL stuff going on or real li in real life stuff going on. So, you know, I can't really, you know, we can't really control that. And uh, yeah. So if you guys like Draft League videos, please leave a like, comment down below. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new. And next episode, I will be doing a team builder, so don't worry. Peace.